Sheriff were trying to get out of only his share of the fees. It actually is plugged in. Cool. Anyway, hello everyone, Tiny says Chippy's here. So I forgot that uh it was a little tiny cutscene after you finished both the things. So I was like, whoopsie. So I went and did that real quick. Um So as you can see I did this shit. Um Probably need to do the unfriend. And this is now the domain that unlocked. Oh, I should have grabbed that crab. Too late to grab the crab. Okay. Okay, so there's no voice lines. Let's, let's, let's go take a look. So, this one, like, is like, this one's an Abyss Mage. Um, this one is like, looks like, um, the puppet dude. And, or one of the Samurais. And this one is a Mirror Maiden. And as you can tell, that's, um. It makes me so sad. <sighs> Actually, no, if I had to pick a tall character. There I go. I picked the tall characters. Oh shit. I forgot to start the timer. My bad. Um There you go. I like how I was gonna do a whole bunch of stuff, but like it's getting closer and closer to seven and like there's still a shit ton of stuff I gotta do. So, basically you're trying to do that. I was like, where the fuck is the bar? Ah! I'm dumb. Sometimes I'm stupid, I swear. I'm seeing this happening, and my brain is all like, Gah. like a dumbass that I am.
Like, I just kind of zone out slightly. every time and I know I shouldn't depend on the shield on the bottom no 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 shut 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 thankfully the shield nope shut shut damn it nice if it just stays there. Nope! <laughs> nope! Shit! That was bullshittery! I shouldn't have said anything, man. Like, you only have a certain amount of balls, and if you run out of balls, you lose. So. I was like, ah! I guess it's like pinball, if you will. I don't know. Oh, by the way, you get a weapon. And there's wind choice again. Ah. Um. Hmm. I need 2,090 to get the weapon. No, I already got the weapon. But to get the upgrade stuff. And then it's because uh, this is the weapon here that I I got. Hold on, yeah, there it is. It's a it's like it's a sword, but it's like an umbrella. I don't know who I'm gonna put it on yet. Um. And could I might well if I do have to go to Mondstadt um like I need to pull some stuff from Mondstadt honestly eh? but uh we'll do wind trace real quick just because one, I want to, and two, I can. And, like, that way I can do the story shit on my own. Because I can run through all the story stuff. Shit! Uh, so, Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? 
You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Tomatoes! So gross! What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. I We're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. I forgot that I need to go to Leeway instead to avoid this stupid ass <laughs> or go around. So my bod. I didn't mean to activate the quest. A strange package. My bad. Yes. That's fine. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. Could be a thank you gift. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? Uh, maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatanic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. But this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is really good. Japan. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. Puzzle box. Pharaoh. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the casket of tomes. I don't rem remember his fight. Another... I'm like trying to figure out how to like, without basically save it. But, yummies! <laughs> After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. And there you go. That's what basically this whole shit is! <laughs> and that's the Yu-Gi-Oh! references. <laughs> so it's not exactly a Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. Um... People are saying that it resembles more of death or something like that. Like, but there's a lot of references to Yu Gi Oh! And that Yu Gi Oh! also has a dice game. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? 
Uh, oh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. All right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. If you wonder what I'm doing over here, I'm just kind of messing around with the, the magnet shenanigans that I've dealt with. Dealing with. Just attaching them so that way I can cake them to the kitchen. There we go. Well, research is my priority, you know. But, if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Battlefield of Dice and Cats and Cards. Okay, so. I'm obviously not gonna do that. But I guess it'd be open spawn step for me, so Bet that's nice. What's the hurry? I hate it when I Add fuck myself Astra over and I have Because well. the Mondstadt one is so much the, the easier one to go through. You know? So. Uh, um. I like how I go for the short ones, but I'm never going to fucking, you know, probably come back to this shit. Like, haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer in your Uh, not yet. I have to turn the small scale mining spell there. Oops. Actions. Ah, uh, da da da. Man, like. Like, I still haven't really seen those two talk about Scaramouche. Sorry, I was trying to remember which fucking house it was. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Hello, my guy. Win trace, win trace, win trace, win trace. Explaining to me that the rebels cause have only nothing to do until the end of the game, which is really boring for them. 
I mean, it kind of is. But, I don't know. I don't think so. say something but I don't want to say it because I know if I say it I might fuck myself over so I'm not going to say it also I'm oh I haven't gotten this one yet Re ready trees and rocks Neat. world are we on, I wonder? <laughs> Damn. Kind of scared. I've never been in this one, so I don't know a good hiding spot yet. You know? What are we hearing? I mean, Azuma. Like, <laughs> try not to panic slightly. Yeah. Please don't let the hunter get it. Please don't let the hunter get it. Fuck! Shit. Oh, that's a gun, you. Don't look at me, don't please. Shit! Alright. Continue game.
Where are they? It'd be nice if there was a way to... What's the hurry? There they are. Where'd they go? Heckle. Okay. Cool. So, like, no, but I, I was gonna... This is actually the first time on this account and on my last account for actually getting caught. Because on my, on my main account, I haven't gotten caught and have to actually be in observer mode at all. And I've mostly been hidden away the entire time, which is nice. Not being caught the entire time. And in fact, I've actually won it. Won be the last survivor a couple a few times too, which is nice. Um So here's what I'm planning on doing. Um Hold on, what is, what was that for? <laughs> yeah. Um I'm going to play this off screen. Now that I've showed you, yeah, I'm doing it. Um Here's Bah. Bah. No, that's not what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys the maps. I can't preview there. Go. Um, yeah, these are the maps that you can choose from. Check. Beneath the stone. I've done that one once. Deeper Tides. I just did that one. I've done this one multiple times. Um, I haven't done that one yet. I believe I've done this one. I'm not too sure. Haven't done this one. Haven't done that one. Not that one. I haven't done this... No, I did this one in a game as the hunter. I was the hunter on this one. But I wasn't... I don't believe I've done this one yet. Um... I think I've been on this one too. I'm not too sure. I haven't done this one yet, either. In this round. Um, anyway. So I'm going to end this episode here. And then I'm going to play Wind Trace on my own. And. You know what? I might actually. No. <laughs> well, one trace isn't really hard to do, and it's probably something I can do real quick, and then the story mode. <sighs> I'll figure it out. But, um. I didn't know you were such a slacker. I'm gonna end this episode here, so for now, Tiny Sitchibi is deciding off.